Hey, it's Metal Man 2 coming at you with another video. And today, just like the title of the video suggests, I'm going to do an unboxing of this Hori stick that I just purchased. And I'm going to try it out, maybe explain a couple of reasons why I bought it over something like a, a Mad Cats. But I'll get into that a little bit later. So, right now I just got this stick itself, and it's still even in its original shipping box. So, let's go ahead and open this stick up and see uh, what it looks like. Nothing special, but that's a receipt, no one wants to see that. So, here's the stick that I purchased, the Hori. Uh, Rat 4 Pro Kai Arcade Edition. Now, this stick boasts of having the Hibusa stick itself as opposed to a Sandwell uh, JLF, JLF. Now, this one apparently only has the, the Curry button, Kuro buttons, which you know, sticks are pretty much easier to, uh, to adjust and uh, change the, the buttons out to your color preference or to your liking. The restriction plate for this, for the 8-way, um, I've always been a fan of that. I could never really get into the 4-way, which is what uh, most sticks come with. It doesn't matter what brand, either if it's Madcast, if it's Quamba, if it's Hori. Unless that's specially stated, it's going to be the 4-way uh, restrictor plate. So you're going to have all the, the corners where you can lock it into your stick in position. Which any uh, really good player will tell you, you're not, you don't really want to ride the gate, but you know, it, it feels comfortable to me. So, um, I'm not the greatest by any means. So, here's some more packaging, we'll get rid of this. Well, Alright, so here's uh, the stick in and of itself. Yeah, I don't need this. So, the stick is all black. The buttons do de definitely do feel slightly uh, different than what I'm used to, but nothing uh, out of the ordinary. You got your standard clicking the sound of your joystick, all your eight action buttons, your start or option button, depending on what platform you play for. But uh, I got this for a PS4, which also acts works for a PS3. On this side, there's hardly any, there's nothing to it. There's a little ledge here. Um, you can kind of grab it like this. Nothing special. No handle like in the uh, in the Quamba. Um, what else? Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid saying um as much as possible, but I know I'm gonna say it. Uh, let's see. There's another little handle area here. Another place to grip it. It's got some nice feet on the bottom here uh, for traction so it doesn't go sliding off your lap. And if you're worried about the start, well, start button, in this case it's the option button, whenever I played with the, the Quamba, which if you look at any other videos, here's a Quamba, it had the same thing, it had the uh, start to the side. I don't think I've ever hit it in the middle of gameplay accidentally. Um, so that's not an issue with me. There's enough room that you're not, unless you're just wildly mashing, you shouldn't have a issue with hitting your option button by mistake. And on this side, you got, I don't know if we can pick it up or not. So we got our share button here. So if you want to take some in-game pictures or start recording, there's that button. There's also the selection between your D-pad, your left stick, and your right stick here. I believe this is for turbo, either 5, 12, or 20 actions per second, I believe that's what how that is. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this says, A on or off. I had to do some more research with it, but I think that also has to do with turbo. And then there's also the selection between PS3 and PS4. Uh, you also have your L3 button right here, your R3 button, your PlayStation button, and your Turbo button. This this Hori also has the touchpad like in your um, the, 
the Pro Shock 4. You know, same thing, you can press it, you got your, your, your touchpad area. It might be nice, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't, like I said, I just opened it up. And here is the cable. And I believe this was, what, two meters long, six foot, whatever you want to consider it. I think it says on the box, six. It looks like about nine foot, or about, uh, what's that, two and a half meters. Meters are just under 10, 10 feet. Standard USB connection, you know, it wouldn't be anything else. And there is a lot of room in here, if you can see this or not. Okay. And there is uh, the spot for the cable to, to come through. This does seem a little bit, um, I mean, as you can see, that just kind of snapped off. Um, but it goes right back on. No big deal. And it looks like there's plenty of room, so you don't have to go super tight with your cable um, to make it go fit in there. As you can see, it fits in there nice. And... Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell. Um, so if you if you're wondering why I went with this stick as opposed to the Mad Cat's TE2 stick, T well, it's it comes down to a couple things. Uh, one of the big thing is availability. Um, if you're watching this pretty close to when I'm making this video, and you're looking for a stick, you're going to be very uh, um, it's going to be very hard to find your the the Mad Cat stick, but if you're getting a you're you're buying a stick to play Street Fighter on, you're going to be uh, you know out of luck. Um, the other reason I bought this was for the price. It is um, it's about 150 dollars. You might find it a little bit more expensive or cheaper depending on where you go to and when you buy it. This was the only thing that's um, available now. I mean it's. You know, you get it for $150. You can still customize it, um, change your buttons out. You can change your stick if you really want to. The Habusa is supposed to be um, as good, if not better, than the sound one. Now, sound one is just the uh, more common, but uh, it's supposed to be very comparable. Uh, it's but the something with the the way of the stick meets up with the gate, it's supposed to feel a little bit better. Um, like I said, I, I'm going to have to do some play testing and see what it feels like. And um, so, I mean, that was pretty much, his availability and price was, was one of the, the, the biggest sellers. Now, one of the couple cons is, while yes, it's available and while it's available and less expensive, less expensive than the TE stick, you're also kind of sacrificing uh, custom, customization. Um, now if you look at any of my other sticks or any of my other videos that I have stick modding on it, you know I like to change the buttons, the, the, the ball top, and, and, and the, uh, the artwork, right? This happens to be my Kwamba, which I can't really use it now for obvious reasons. Um, so this one does not, is not easily um, changeable with the artwork. The buttons and the stick should be no problem. Um, kind of your standard, you know, destroy this sticker and void your warranty, which I will be doing in the next couple of days. But, um, if, so if you only want to look for change your buttons, that's fine, change your stick, change your ball top, the dust, clock, dust um, collector, dust, Duff ring and, and, and shaft cover, there we go. I'll get words out. Um, this is perfectly a viable option. Uh, if you want to wait till whenever, whenever the new TE sticks come into stock, they do have a, a very nice feature, which I can't really show you on here, but it would be kind of like a latch in the front. You push the button, it opens up, has storage. It has uh, for a couple extra buttons, and plus for your cable is also detachable. Where this one, it's uh, it's hardwired into it. There's no there's no type of uh, detachment to it. Um, so, like I said, it's really on t up to you. Which this is another, this is what uh, I'm already seeing this to be a slight problem with this gate. I might have to play with it some more. Um, 
So, there we go. That's because I didn't have it snapped in all the way. There we go. The other option, if you want to change this, would be something along the lines of this. Where it's basically you get your artwork and you put it in between laminate and you stick it to it. But as you can see, it, it comes up. It doesn't stay long. It doesn't stay on that well. But it is an option. I mean, if you really want to customize your, your, your artwork, you might have to look into kind of a sticker option or just be satisfied with changing the ball tops or, or the buttons, which you don't have to, but it's more of a, if you want to make it your stick, you know, that's pretty much where your options are at. And um, so what else? Functions, buttons, stick. Um, without actually um, changing anything, I think that's pretty much the extent of this unboxing. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll you'll join me for my next video. See ya.